Hello Taurus, Sun Moon Rising and Venus and welcome to another reading. All right, let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have trust. The situation's calling for you to have faith. We also have pay attention to the red flags as well as reconciliation worth waiting for as well as release your ex. Ooh, Jesus. And we also have free yourself in deception. Well, 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 well. I think somebody needs to trust the fact that somebody has not changed. I don't I don't know if that message is for you or if it's for somebody that was once upon a time, you know, romantically involved with you. Somebody needs to trust the fact that somebody has not changed, okay? It's kind of the message that I'm getting primarily, whether that message is for you or the person that you were once upon a time romantically involved with, okay? I'm also kind of getting like an overall energy of somebody who's currently sitting in disbelief over an ending here. Again, it could be you experiencing this. It could be somebody else experiencing this but there is um there is an overall energy of disbelief attached to this person it's almost in a sense where they refuse to accept and believe that it's it's over is like the best way that i can describe what it is that i'm seeing here um but anyways taurus we're gonna focus on you first and then we'll jump over to your person just keep in mind the roles can be reversed also keep in mind time is fluid so this could either current currently be happening okay or maybe happening at a later date. How does Taurus currently view this relationship? Okay, let's see what's going on, you guys. So we do have the Two of Wands. We also have the Judgment card, as well as the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Oh, okay. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands, so the Seven of Wands, and then we also have the Five of Cups. So it kind of looks like you need to trust the fact that somebody has not changed. No matter how much they want to sit here until you have changed and this, that, and the third, you need to trust the fact that somebody has not changed. You got someone, Taurus, from your past resurfacing back up here for you, and they could very well be telling you um, that they've changed, that they want to work things out with you, that, you know, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be a better person within this relationship, they're going to do right by you this time, you know, things of that nature. I feel like this individual has shown you on multiple different um, occasions that, uh, they're all talk no action is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm feeling and seeing here I feel like this person has shown you on multiple different occasions that this person's all talk no action okay this person could tell you that they've changed but you know through their actions you're obviously able to see that that is obviously not the case um it kind of looks like you kind of reached that point in time where you're just like you know what enough is enough I can't do this anymore I'm done I want a divorce we're breaking up, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, and as you're making this decision to finally stand up for yourself and do what you feel as though is best for you, um, and and you start taking steps towards just simply moving forward, right, and moving on with your life and moving away from this connection, boom, you got this person resurfacing back up here for you, which is putting you in this overall energy of like, okay, should I take them back? Or should I continue to remain on the path that I'm currently on? Have they honestly changed? Or are they just feeding me a bunch of baloney, right? Again, I feel like this is one of those situations where you're going to have to go based off of what this person has shown you, okay? Because uh, I feel like this person has shown you on multiple different occasions that they have not changed. Um, this person, again, they might sit here and tell you all day long that they've changed, but you've seen this for yourself firsthand that this person has the tendency of telling you things that they think you want to hear just to keep you around, right? Um, and I feel like that has worked on you for quite some time, considering the fact that, I mean, we have the Seven of Cups out here, you guys, with the Five of Cups. Like, I feel like this person has shown you on more than at least five different occasions, right, that they're not going to change. They're not going to get their act together. You cannot rely on what this person is, you know, telling you because, Again, through their actions, you know, it basically tells you a completely different story, right? That they're not actually changing. They don't really even care to change. They don't even really care to do right by this marriage or this relationship, you know, things of that nature. So, yes, I do see you in this energy of should I take them back or should I not take them back? Are they going to honestly change this time around or are they not going to change? You know, you're, you're going to find yourself in that overall energy. How does this person currently view this relationship? How does this person, sorry, my eye, how does this person 
How does this person currently view this relationship with Taurus? <clears throat> okay. Okay. We have the all right. We have, all right. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Four of Swords, and then we also have the um, Four of Cups. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Seven of Cups. I'll, I'll I'll say this: Are they acknowledging all the stuff, right? that they put you through absolutely are they recognizing and realizing where they went wrong absolutely i will give them that but i feel like that's as far as it goes i don't feel that confident enough to tell you like yeah taurus they're realizing you know everything that they did uh was wrong and you didn't deserve all of this and now it's like you know they're being inspired to become a whole new man or a whole new woman i cannot give them that because they don't have the cards to back them up on that um I do have to go based off of the cards and, and what I'm seeing here. Now, of course, if that does change and they, they start getting cards to back them up on this claim that they've changed and they're going to do right by you this time around, then I will give it to them. But right now, I cannot give it to them because they don't have the cards to really back them up, okay, on what they're claiming here. It kind of looks like they're claiming that they've changed. They're... they're they're also possibly telling you that, you know, they're 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 gonna do right by you this time around. They really, really are because now it, you know, they they realize, you know what I mean, where they went wrong, right? Um, so according to them, it kind of looks like they're gonna start taking the necessary steps to change and become a better man for you or a better woman for you. So then there's that, right? Um right now. They're just sitting in this overall energy of, okay, I realize where I went wrong. I realize that I had a really, really good thing and I blew it. All I want to do in this situation now is try to make this right. That's all I want to do. I want to heal the situation. I want to do better by you, Taurus. Like, that's the energy that they're currently in. But the only thing that, like I said, I can give them is that, yes, they are acknowledging, you know what I mean, um, where they went wrong. Another thing that I don't like... Another thing that I don't like about this person is the way that they're approaching this entire situation with you. You know, it's like they're resurfacing back up here for you. Like, Taurus, please forgive me. Let's come back together and let's really try to heal this entire situation. I mean, okay, fine, whatever. Nothing wrong with that. But it's the, the it's the, uh, how do I explain it? It's the energy that's lurking behind it. You know, their their whole thing is, yeah, Taurus, I know I put you through hell and back. I know, I know, I know. But just just forgive me. Just acknowledge the fact that I'm trying here. I'm trying to heal things. Just, just acknowledge that and just take me back already, right? That's not how this works. You know what I mean? Like, that's not how this works. Like, had you put this person through the exact same things that they put you through, they would understand fully why you're just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea. In fact, I think that uh, walking in the opposite direction of this relationship is actually a really good idea. Matter of fact, yeah, it's looking really, really good right now. You know what I mean? Like, this is that type of person that has to walk in your shoes to fully understand why you're in this energy of like, mm -mm, mm -mm, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know, you know what I mean? Um, basically, basically, but yeah, their whole thing, I, I don't like the approach, I would, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of the approach, because their whole thing is like, yeah, I know I messed up, I know I shouldn't have done this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and yeah, Taurus, I know I put you through hell and back, and I know, I know, I know, um, but I'm trying here, you know what I mean, look at me, I'm, I'm trying here, I'm crying, you know, I'm like, whatever, right, um, and that's fine, I guess, I just, I'm not a fan of the whole, Yes, I know where I went wrong, but take me back, please. Just take me back. Don't hesitate. Take me back. Trust me on this. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's a little easier said than done considering that we have this out here attached to your energy. This is basically insinuating that this person has put you through a lot. They put you through a lot. They've disappointed you a lot, okay? I'm not talking about one, two, three, four, five times. I feel like this person has disappointed you more than that okay so they need to kind of understand that but i understand why they don't because it kind of looks like you didn't turn around and return the favor to them so all the stuff that they put you through you didn't turn around and do it to them right so they cannot even relate on why you feel the way that you feel and why you may not trust letting this person back in they, they don't get it they don't get it and they never will until either you put them 
through the exact same things that they put you through or somebody else does or someone else does um but let's keep going let's see what else we can get here tell me more about the uh not the page of wands tell me more about how this person well do i want to know more about this person tell me more about this person that taurus is dealing with let's 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 do it tell me more about this person that taurus is dealing with All right, so we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Sun, and then we also have the um, Seven of Wands. Could be dealing with a Leo strongly, possibly an Air sign, so a Gemini, Libra, maybe even an Aquarius. Again, it's just kind of reiterating what I said. You know, the Sun, yeah, it speaks of happiness and joy and butterflies and rainbows and all that stuff, but it also speaks of illumination. So again, I'm gonna give it to them. Are they realizing where they went wrong? Absolutely. I'm not going to take that away from them. They are definitely realizing where they went wrong. It's like spirits kind of highlighting all of this for them. That, yo, like you really messed up big time. Just wanting to let you know that. You know what I mean? Like it kind of looks like spirits highlighting all of this uh, for them. And there's a reason why. Spirit wants this person to learn from their mistakes. Okay. Spirit really does want this person to uh, learn from their mistakes and get their act together. Okay. Now that really all depends on them on whether or not they get their act together or if, they, or if they just continue to sit here and talk a really good game you know what I mean um but yes they I will give it to them they are realizing where they went wrong okay how does this person currently feel okay uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just like uh, I don't like the fact that they keep showing up as a page man I don't like it I'm just like oh, fuck. you know it's like I, I want to give them I want to give them the benefit of the doubt but it's kind of hard nor am I gonna sit here and just go based off of what they're claiming here because I'm not gonna sit here and mislead you okay if I don't feel like somebody's actually putting in the work to actually change and do right by you in this marriage that they share with you or whatever whatever relationship you got going on here with this person I'm not going to I'm not gonna say it. I'm so sorry I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that they are but with the seven of wands to the page of swords to the justice card it's like this person's asking for you to give them a chance to show you, right? That they're willing to, you know, do what they got to do in order to make this marriage or this relationship work here between you and them. Again, it kind of looks like right now they're just talking a really good game. I kind of need some cards to really back them up on this this claim that they're making here as far as like I'm going to be a, I'm I I promise you Taurus like I'm going to be a better man in this relationship or in this marriage or a better woman within this relationship or this marriage. Um again right now it's like they're they're talking to you, right? About how much they're going to actually change, okay? Um, for the sake of this marriage, for the sake of this relationship that they share with you, but they keep showing up as a page two times, which is kind of alarming and concerning. And it's kind of making me lean more towards what I already said about this individual, right? That all they are doing right now is talking a really, really good game. So look at it as them trying to convince you that they are a changed man now, that they are a changed woman now. Um, I can't give them that. You know, I kind of feel like who they want to be in this relationship is who you want them to be, which is this King of Pentacles like energy, right? So King of Pentacles, for one, is somebody who's very mature, especially for their age. Uh, King of Pentacles is that Taurus energy, right? Um, so, I mean, we could be talking about it. Taurus doesn't necessarily have to be the case, but um, King of Pentacles is somebody who's very thoughtful, somebody who's very kind, somebody who's very, 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 very big on commitment, but also very, very big on loyalty. It's somebody that you can rely on. It's somebody that you can depend on. It's somebody who's going to have your back. It's somebody who's going to take care of you. King of Pentacles is also known for being a provider and a protector, right? So then there's that, right? Um, that's who they want to be one day um 
yeah, that's who they want to be one day, right? I, I do believe that that's who they want to be one day. The problem is, is that I really want to give them the benefit of the doubt, but for the life of me, I just, I don't feel like I can. I don't feel like I can because I don't, I don't want to miss, I don't want to mislead anybody here. Again, it just kind of looks like this is who they want to be, which is the person that they think you want, right? So again, they're going to sit here and convince you that, well, I'm the king of pentacles now. I'm the king of pentacles now. I'm, I'm the man that you've always wanted right now, or I'm the woman that you've always wanted right now. And the cards basically disagree with them on that. They're showing up as a page two times. There's levels to this, you guys, right? So we got the pages that come out first, right? Then we got the knights that follow, and then that's when we get into the kings, right? So we have the king of wands that comes out first. We have the king of swords that follows, and we got the king of cups, and then boom, that's when we hit king of pentacles status. Never in my life have I ever seen a page go from a king of pentacles like that. Never in my life. It takes years. It takes years. So unless you guys have been separated for years, like oh, we're talking about... I mean, everybody works through, like, energy differently, right? And everybody grows at a, a different pace. But if you guys have been separated for, like, I don't know, because I'm thinking the number five in my head. So five years and, all right, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, maybe there's a possibility that now all of a sudden they are the man that you want them to be or the woman that you want them to be. But even then, it's like, even if five years went by, the cards do not agree with what they're claiming here. Um, it kind of looks like they're claiming that they've changed, but the cards are basically exposing them that no, that this is not true. This is not true. And this is why I love tarot. <laughs> this is exactly why I love tarot because tarot exposes people, right? Um, and, and some may view it as a good thing. Some may view it as a bad thing. My personal opinion is that I feel like it is a really positive thing because it shows us what, what we really need to work on, right? It shows us what we need to really change about ourselves. So if I'm just looking at this person, I can tell that this is somebody who likes to tell people what they think they want to hear. Um, they're very, very good at convincing people. Um, and that's something that this person needs to change about themselves. You know, say what you mean and mean what you say, right? Um, basically, right? Let's, 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 let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. All right. How does Taurus currently feel? How does Taurus currently feel? Mm, 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 mm. We have the Ace of Cups, we got the Empress, and then we also have the uh, Hangman. All right, so let's just start off with the fact, homie, that you're showing up as an Empress, regardless of your gender, male or female, does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us, okay? Um, so yeah, you're, you're showing up as an empress, which I don't blame this person for trying to fix and repair things here with you because had you been a page or a knight or even a queen of wands, like people don't typically fight for that. Right. Um, but for an empress, yeah, I mean, I, I understand why this person is fighting, right? I understand why they want to fix and repair things here with you because you are the total package. Now let's get into it. Right. Um, you're going to find yourself, like I said, overall indecisive on whether or not you should take this person back, okay? Now, with the Ace of Cups to the Empress um, to the Hangman coming out here, because you are an Empress, you are somebody who knows your value and knows your worth, and you know what you bring to the table. Nobody has to tell you this. You know exactly what you bring to the table, and you know exactly what it is that you deserve, right? This is going to be a true test to see if you're going to have faith on getting what it is that you truly want and deserve here for yourself because it, it kind of looks like right now in a way you are kind of somewhat being tested I would say right so this is a really big test for you to honestly see if you're going to be patient enough to wait on what it is that you deserve or you're just going to turn around and take this one back Okay, out of, well, I'm familiar with this person and I feel comfortable with this person because we spent X amount of time together. So, you know, things like that. Like, are you going to honestly 
have faith that the right man or woman will come along and it just so happens to be somebody who can match you um or are you gonna just take what you know is not good for you out of well i'm familiar with this person we've spent x amount of time together so i'm you know might as well right so this is a true test to see um, if, if you're going to sit here and have faith for the right one to come along or if you're going to turn around and choose what's familiar to you. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess, we have the Nine of Pentacles as well as the Nine of Swords, and then we also have the Star. On an intuitive level, you are being advised to walk away from this entire situation and keep things as is here between you and this person. But will you trust what your intuition is telling you, right? And where you know, your intuition is trying to guide you towards, or are you not, you know, because a lot of you may want to choose the past out of, well, I'm familiar with this person. Like, yes, this person has put me through this, that, and the third, but I'm familiar with them. I feel comfortable with them. I know them, they know me, right? And then that's fine. But sometimes choosing what's familiar to you is not a good thing for you. And I feel like that has been revealed to you on multiple different occasions, Taurus. This is a true test, like I said, overall to see if you're going to have faith in, in eventually meeting the right one for you. Or you're just going to go back to what you know, right? Which would be this person, right? From your past. But with the star coming out here... The star is all about following your true north, being on the path that spirit basically wants you on. You may not know if you're ever going to meet the man of your dreams or the woman of your dreams. You may not ever know, right? But, but this is why I'm saying you're being tested right now because if you firmly believe, right, that you deserve far more this far more than this entire situation that you've been in with this person, you're just gonna have to have faith that it'll eventually come and find you. Don't go looking for it, let it find you. But you're gonna have to sit here and have some faith, right? That eventually it'll find you. But only time will tell what you decide to do in the end. Uh, this is what you're being divinely guided to do as far as like keeping things as is between you and this person, but we all have free will. So for some of you, you're gonna take them back. For others of you, you're gonna sit here and have faith that the right man will come along or the right woman will come along. Um, but. We'll see. We'll see what you decide to do in the end. What actions will Taurus take towards this person or moving forward? Okay. All right. Yep. We have the moon. We have the eight of wands. And then we also have the um, king of wands. The bottom of the deck, we do have the... Um, yeah, we have the Eight of Swords, we also have the Two of Swords, and then we also have the uh, Queen of Wands, which is your overall energy, by the way. Um, so let's talk about the King and the Queen of Wands. Like, these two are known for having a very difficult time staying away from one another, okay? These two typically have a very, very toxic and unhealthy and chaotic relationship with one another. So it kind of looks like you were in this King of Wands, Queen of Wands type of situation here with this person where it was extremely chaotic, it was extremely toxic, it was extremely healthy, uh, not healthy, unhealthy, right? Um, and I feel like the both of you are aware of how toxic this relationship and unhealthy this uh, relationship actually is right so because you were in this king of wands queen of wands like dynamic it is it is hard for you to break away from this connection just like it is very very hard for them to break away from this connection as well but in my in my personal opinion right i've never actually seen the king and the queen of wands have a successful relationship with one another and the main reason why spirit brings these two together is to mirror one another, to teach one another um, things that they need to learn and improve on, right? So this connection was sent into your life to teach you a valuable lesson. One thing that this relationship has taught you, and it and it and it's it's hard to kind of ignore, right? One thing that this relationship has taught you is to see your value and your worth and all that you honestly do bring to the table because that is very very important right but it's also teaching you in a way if you think about it to wait on someone who can match you 
right? On all types of different levels, right? So this relationship has taught you all of that. The real question is, are you going to honestly take what you learn through your involvement with this person and apply it to your future or are you not? Because this relationship definitely highlighted to you what you deserve, what you don't deserve. It showed you your value. It showed you your worth. It showed you what you deserve and what you don't deserve, right? It showed you all of that. Now, yes, you did, technically speaking, learn all of this, but are you going to apply what you learned um, and move forward, right? And that's the real that's the real question here, right? Is that are you gonna honestly apply what you learned or not, right? Um, and we see you in this energy of, well, let me well, but Milagros, maybe, 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 maybe they have changed. Maybe they have changed. Maybe they actually mean what they say this time, right? Even you can sense and feel that the stuff this person is telling you is just them talking a really good game. Even you feel that way. It's not me telling you that, you know, this is how you're going to feel. No, you're going to feel this way. Like, that's kind of besides the point. You know what I mean? It's not me telling you that, you know, you're going to feel this way just because I'm trying to make a point here to you. No, you're going to find yourself experiencing this energy if you haven't experienced it yet. And when it does hit you and it does happen, that's very, very important because that's your intuition telling you, we've been down this road before, Taurus. Why are we still here? Why are we still doing this? Why are we still feeding into this? Let's look at the Eight of Swords to the Eight of Swords. Not the Ace of Swords. Let's look at the Two of Swords to the Eight of Swords. So say, dude, we have the three of pentacles to the Hierophant to the lovers being out here. If only you would just have some faith, man. If only you would just have some faith here. I understand that you're going based off of your reality, right? Your reality right now is, well, I want somebody that I can build a life with. I want somebody that I can, you know, spend my time with and create memories with. That's what I want. That's what I want. And I understand that, Taurus, but I kind of feel like this person hasn't showed up. And, and that's kind of that's kind of why I'm trying my hardest to really kind of navigate you through this entire situation. Because this person that can match you hasn't necessarily showed up just yet, you're going based off of the options that you currently have, which right now it kind of looks like you're very limited, right? It kind of looks like it's either this person or you just being single and alone and waiting until this one shows up right and this is why you're being tested your faith is being tested here you're either going to have faith in what you truly deserve and want for yourself and have faith that eventually it'll find you or you're not that's as simple as it gets right but right now because your options are limited right right now your only two options is i'm either going to continue to be single and alone and wait until the right one comes along or i'm going to go back and choose this one because why not? We're familiar with each other. We spent X amount of time with one another. It doesn't feel weird. It doesn't feel awkward, whatever, right? Um, and that's kind of what we, we, we're, we're seeing here, Taurus, basically. If only you would have faith, man. Because see, this is something worth waiting for. This is something worth waiting for. But it's either you're going to choose this, which is this whole past situation. And mind you, it has the devil wrapped up in all of this. Or you're going to choose this. See, this is a healthy relationship. This is a connection that's going to help you grow and evolve as an individual. This is not, you know, that type of relationship that, you know, you're accustomed to dealing with, you know. This is far from that, actually. See, it kind of looks like you're accustomed to dealing with, you know, toxic people and toxic relationships. It's all that you know. It's all that you're familiar with, right? Um... But, but you have the opportunity, right, to experience a healthy relationship with somebody who is going to make you feel really good about yourself, with somebody who is going to push you to become the best version of yourself, somebody who's not going to sit here and put you through hell and back. You know what I mean? Like, you can experience this, but it requires you to have faith that it'll eventually find you because it's already here. It's basically implying, right, that it's going to happen but even though i'm telling you it's going to happen you don't know for sure if it's going to happen so you're still going to find yourself in this energy of but i don't know me it's like 
I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, right? Because I can sit here and tell you it's going to happen, but you're probably not going to believe me on that because right now you're going based off of your current reality. Your current reality is telling you, well, this connection's not here and what if it doesn't show up and what if I'm single for like 20 years and what am I going to do? Like things like that, right? So I understand why you would find yourself in this overall energy of, but I don't because what if it doesn't show up? This is why I'm saying you're being tested to, to see if you honestly have faith in getting what it is that you truly desire, right? For yourself and what it is that you truly deserve. That's what it all boils down to. But the thing is, the crazy part of it all is that this connection was highlighting all of this to you. Your value, your worth, what you deserve and what you don't deserve. Now, you're being tested by spirit to see if you've honestly learned your lesson or not. Are you honestly going to sit here and wait for what you truly deserve or you're going to go back to the very thing you know you don't deserve? Understand that this connection has a devil wrapped up in all of this. So in other words, this connection was not designed to um, build you back up. It was designed to destroy you. This connection wasn't, you know, here to you know, build your self-esteem. It was here to destroy your self-esteem. It wasn't here to help you. It was here to do the complete opposite. Again, it has the devil wrapped up in all of this. This connection does not. See what I mean? But this is one of those situations where you're gonna you're gonna either choose to go back to what's familiar to you or you're gonna sit here and have faith that eventually the right man will find you or the right woman will find you um and when it does happen because it will happen for those of you who choose to walk away from this entire situation because again it's already here right for those of you who do choose to walk away from this entire situation when you do meet this person you'll know You'll know that this is the one that you're supposed to be with. You'll know that this is the one that you're going to build a life with. You're going to feel it and you're going to know. There will be no doubt in your mind. But what's crazy is, is that you have so much doubt when it comes down to this person and you're not taking time to acknowledge. But why is that? But why is that? You know, and it's and it's because this relationship is not where you're supposed to be. It's not where you're supposed to be. I'm just trying to get everybody to where they're supposed to be. That is, that's just my end goal. I want everybody to experience this. This is a healthy relationship. This is a connection that can help you grow and evolve and push you to become the best version of yourself. This is what I want everybody to experience, not this. This is a connection that can destroy you. This is a connection um, that can leave you, you know... Gosh, it, 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 it could leave you in a place that you don't deserve to be in. And this is why I'm trying to prevent, right, this from happening. But I can only do so much. You know what I mean? I, I can only do so much. You know, I can, I can sit here and tell you, oh, this is not a good idea. You should really walk away from this. But at the end of the day, it's your life. You got to do what you, 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 you got to, you got to do what you got to do, right? Do what you feel called to do. But there is a reason why you're full of doubt. <clears throat> there is a reason why you're full of doubt. There's a reason why you're just like, I don't know about this. There's a reason behind it all and you're not trusting it. And we see you going as far as to allow curiosity to even get the best of you in this entire situation, which, which is prompting you to have a conversation with this person, go on a few dates here with this person, you know, and slowly let this person back in all over again. And even then, you're not you're 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 not going to feel 100% sold on this person because your soul and your intuition will not allow you to. And there's a reason behind all of that. And you just gotta trust it. You may not fully understand why you're just like I don't know what it is about this person that's just like mm, I don't know I don't know right. But there's a reason. There's a reason. Your 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 soul. Your soul is not going to allow you to feel at ease with this person. Your intuition is going to constantly sound off the alarm that, what are we doing here, Taurus? What are we doing? Like, why are we here? We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. You know what I mean? Um, like I always say, right? And this is one thing that I absolutely love about intuition. Your intuition does not care how much you love this person, how much time you invest into this person, how cute they are, how much money they make. Your intuition is not here for all of that. Your intuition is here to guide you and protect you. And that's exactly what we see your intuition and your spirit team trying to do here. But you're going against the very thing that was supposed to protect you in this life, right? And again, it's just causing you in a way, if you think about it, to 
miss out on what you truly deserve. Because you know, between you and I, you know you don't deserve this. You know you don't, you know? You know you don't, right? You know you don't. What actions will this person take Again, it, this is the overall energy that I was kind of picking up on, right? This is like an overall energy of somebody who cannot picture and or fathom their life with you. There's a lot of resistance coming from this person as far as allowing this chapter to close out here between you and this person. But believe it or not, again, the devil is wrapped up in all of this. So just as much as this relationship affects you, it affects them as well to a certain degree, right? This relationship is not healthy for neither one of you, okay? Um, again, I feel like you guys were supposed to come together to mirror one another, to learn from one another, um, and to use what it is that you learned moving forward, right? Um, but, but a connection like this, yes, it is very, very hard to break. It is very, very hard to break, but it's possible. And it requires discipline on your behalf to see this ending through same applies for this person um i don't know this really it does kind of all depend on i mean it looks like the ball is in your court this relationship or this marriage is not going to go absolutely anywhere until you you know you say all right let's do this or you say no i'm not we're not doing this no more you know in other words, you're the skipper of this boat. You get to say when it stops and when it goes, right? So it kind of looks like it's your call. You're either going to take them back because they can't picture in or fathom their life without you and go back to what you don't really want to experience. But then again, you're familiar with them. So it's like, all right, it's kind of comfortable and cozy over here. Might as well just do it. You know what I mean? Or you're going to have some faith that eventually the right man or the right woman will find you. You know what I mean? And if you do decide to have faith that eventually the right man and or woman will find you, you're going to be glad that you did. You're going to be glad that you did because it's here. Because it's here. Tell me more about the lovers and the Hierophant. Tell me more about the lovers and the Hierophant. When you meet this person, there will be zero doubt in your mind. Zero. Zero. Which is going to be a whole new experience for you, FYI. But you're going to have zero doubt in your mind. When you meet them, you're just going to know. You're just going to know. You're just going to know, Taurus. You're just going to know. Now, I don't know how you're going to end up meeting this person. I don't. But you will. That's kind of besides the point here. And like I said, when you do, your soul will be at ease. You're not going to find yourself overthinking things here with this person. You're not going to find yourself experiencing the spirit of doubt. You're just not. And that's how you know that's exactly what you're supposed to be, Taurus. That's exactly what you're supposed to be. Not here. This connection can mess with you mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And to be completely honest, I feel like it has been for quite some time. And that in itself should tell you this is not where you're supposed to be. I understand that you're familiar with this person. I understand the amount of time that you've invested into this person. I understand all of that. And I understand why it's hard to walk away. I completely understand all of that. But this is worth walking away from for both parties involved. Not just for you, but also for them. In other words, everybody will eventually win in the end. It may not seem that way right now, and I get that. I am trying my hardest to go based off of your current reality, right? So I, I get that. I understand everything that you're experiencing. I understand why you're just like, I don't know, Milagros, because like, dude, like, what if, right? <laughs> what if? What if they don't show up? They're going to. That's kind of besides the point here. But you will miss out on this opportunity if you continue to stay. You're being tested to rely on your faith. Um, and rely on the simple fact that you deserve far more than this. And eventually, you'll find exactly what it is that you truly want and desire and deserve, right? But if you stay here, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that. No matter how much this person wants to sit here and tell you, no, I've changed. Blah, 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 blah. It ain't going to happen, homie. It's not going to happen. I wish 
that this person could change and, and become a better person for you and for this marriage and for this relationship of course i would i would love for that to happen but this is out of our control we cannot control this person to grow up we cannot control this person to, to do right by you we can't control the fact that this person likes to talk a good game but they can't back it up with their own actions we can't control none of that but this is why I need you to understand that you are the skipper of this boat. You get to call the shots here, right? And how your life looks like moving forward. It's either going to be filled with a bunch of toxicity or it's going to be filled with a bunch of happiness and joy. You get to decide what your life looks like moving forward. And if you decide, all right, no, I just, I want to stick to what I know, then you already know what your life is going to look like because you've already been down this road so many times with this person so you already know like what it's gonna look like and unfortunately it's gonna have its somewhat good moments but it's gonna have a lot of bad moments a lot of bad moments but you already know that you already know what your life is gonna look like with this person um i would say dare if i were you like i triple dog dare you you know what i mean to walk away from this relationship and wait just wait and just 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 wait do you for a little while you know what i mean work on you you know what i mean just wait just just i'm telling you man just just, just wait on this to arrive okay and once it does you're gonna be like well thank the lord jesus that i waited and i took that time to work on myself and i walked away from this entire situation because it's worth it that's what i'm saying it's it's really really worth it but if you if you choose to do this again, then you choose to do this again. I can't control that. But this is this is what I want, is that I want everybody to experience this. But it's situations like these that keep people in marriages and relationships that they're not supposed to be in. They're not supposed to be in. I want everybody to experience this. And you have the opportunity to experience this. But it may not currently be in your life, because I don't feel like it is. But... If you just have some faith that eventually it'll show up for you, when you do come into contact with this person, all of this that you went through and by you taking the leap of faith and choosing to walk away from this marriage or this relationship, it'll all be worth it. And you'll understand what I'm talking about when you do meet this person if you do decide to go down that route of, no, I'm walking away from this. But I can't control that. You know what I mean? I can only tell you, like, yo, like, this is what I'm seeing here. Like, this is what it is. Like, you either choose to believe it or you choose not to. But at the end of the day, I don't know. The decision is entirely up to you. I just, I just, I just, I just hope that a lot of you just, I not a lot of you. I hope that all of you just choose to have faith that eventually it'll find you. It will find you. But you kind of have to have faith. Your faith is being basically tested right now. You know what I mean? Um, but I guess we'll I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what ends up happening. I guess we'll see what you decide to do in the end. But that's basically what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Um, also, too, for those of you who want to uh, follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.